This video is brought to you by Master Bundles. Master Bundles. Master Bundles is a website that offers a wide range of design resources including fonts, textures, background, images, icons, illustration, you name it, it's there. there. The website is designed to make it easy for designers like us to find the right resources we need. Everything is organized in a user-friendly way. One of the biggest advantages of using Master Bundles is it saves time and frustration for designers as we no longer have to hop on in different websites to find the right products. Right product. So I highly recommend adding Master Bundles to your workflow to make your work easier and smoother. Easier and smoother. So today we're going to create a very simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop. And a quick announcement. I'm doing a live webinar on March 4th from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. and it's a Pacific Standard Time and the seats are limited so hurry up and follow the registration process and there are lots of cover inside the tutorial section too so without any further ado let's dive into the video. So here we're in Photoshop and first thing first let's create an artboard and for that press Ctrl and N and I'm going for 4x5 size but you can go whatever size you want to make and let's keep the resolution to 300 color mode to RGB bitrate to 8 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create and then right after that let's drag and drop uh, our very first image so right over here and then let's keep it somewhere over here and let's go and let's drag and drop this abstract background and let's keep it under uh, this main image and then let's make it a little smaller so for that press ctrl and t and let's make it smaller let's add a rotation and let's keep it just like that let's make it a little bigger here we go and then let's make the main image a little bigger ctrl t yep let's see let's see yeah let's keep it somewhere over here all right and then let's go over here let's drag and drop another image and let's keep it right over here Control t let's make it smaller just like this size and maybe let's move it a little bit up yeah let's keep it somewhere over here but anyway we can change uh, it anytime later and let's create a layer max let's erase these hard edges right over here so for that press uh, b and let's make sure the color is black and let's go for this press yep this one and then let's erase uh, some of these parts right over here and then uh, let's create a new layer in between just to add some separation let's go for a kind of white color and let's add a kind of environment in between and let's go on very bottom create a new layer and with the same brush let's add a stroke or let's add a stroke right around here and for the in between layer let's drop down the opacity maybe somewhere around here and I guess there is too much on this side so let's erase this and with this let's for that press E for eraser and let's choose the kind of same brush and let's erase some of these parts right over here and let's erase some from right here too and let's do some color adjustment so for that press the main layer go to filter let's go to camera raw filter And then let's go on basic tab, let's drop down the highlights, let's increase the shadows, let's increase the clarity, let's increase the textures too. And then from the detail tab, let's increase the noise reduction a little bit, color noise reduction too, and let's increase the sharpening just like that. And from the color mixer, let's drop down the saturation for yellows, and let's drop it down for orange a little bit too. Go to luminance, let's drop down the luminance for red and let's increase for yellow and orange. Let's go on hue tab and let's move this slider more towards red. Yep, somewhere, something like that. And let's do same thing for 
orange too yeah so that uh, the skin color look like more reddish than fleshy yep let's keep it like that and let's click on ok and let's do the same thing for another image so select this one go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting let's see how it looks and i think this is looking pretty good to me and let's click on ok all right now let's add some text and we're gonna add some color lots and and we're gonna wrap up this design so let's add some text first so go over here i'm going to use uh this font and let's see and control t let's make it a little bigger and let's keep it right over here and let's add some skew just like that yep and let's change the color to let's see let's go for kind of kind of this color and let's add a new layer in between the text and this player image and go to brush and let's go for another brush let's see let's go for yeah let's go for this brush and let's see let's go for a kind of white color and let's add a separation in between yep i think uh this looks pretty good to me and then let's make a copy alt and drag rectangle in between let's make it a little smaller control T let's move it a little down and let's add some all right now let's make a copy And then again let's add a rectangle just like so let's create a rounded edge and let's change the color to kind of similar red color and let's make a copy ctrl j ctrl t let's move it on the other side and let's keep it maybe right around here and let's add a color lot on very top and go over here click on click a look up and from here and from here click on load and i'm going to use this mood lot and select this one and click on load so this is what we got all right you know what uh let's change the color for this text let's go for let's see let's let's keep it all the way to the top and let's turn off the visibility for this one and let's merge everything ctrl shift alt and e and let's create a layer max and in between these two layers let's add a solid and let's go for a white color let's click on layer max go to brush and i'm going for uh yeah i'm going for this brush and let's make it a little bigger and with a black color selected let's yeah let's keep let's make let's add over the yeah let's see yeah let's keep it like that and then again with the same color let's go for another brush yeah let's go for this one and again i click on layer max and then let's add just like so and maybe right around here 
and let's turn on the visibility for this main text let's change the color yeah let's go for white let's create a layer in between let's go over here edit fill let's fill it with 50 percent gray let's change the blending mode to soft light and let's do some dozen brown let's go for a brown burn tool let's burn some of these parts right over here and let's add some dots let's make this face a little visible and let's do the same thing for here and then let's add a drop shadow for this text or maybe let's add an outer glow for this text and for the outer glow let's go for black color and let's keep it like that and let's click on okay now let's add a final touch up and i would like to add a overlay on very top and for that you know where to go right so let's go to master bundle and then from here let's go to graphics and see there is a wide range of collections and i like to go on textures and let's go for a i'll say that. let's go for this one and let's click on over here and there are like three kind of license available so for me i'll just use personal and i'll just click on add to cart and click over here and then let's click on proceed checkout and from here like you can have like different payment option you can use your mastercard visa card or even you can use your paypal so i already downloaded this one and let's see let's drag and drop one of these textures on very top and let's add a rotation let's make it a little bigger and let's change the blending mode to screen and let's drop down the opacity a little bit and let's keep it all the way to the top and yeah that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video bye bye